Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on pharmacological classification of drugs. In this video, I will explain the classification of newer penicillins. Now, the first known penicillin, natural penicillin was penicillin G. Chemically, it is known as benzyl penicillin. Benzyl penicillin is made up of two fragments, 6 amino penicillinic acid and benzyl group is attached to this 6 amino penicillinic acid. Hence, it is called as benzyl penicillin. Now, though it was a natural and first known penicillin, there are certain shortcomings out there. First one, it cannot be taken orally. It can be given only parenterally. The reason why it cannot be taken orally is in presence of gastric hydrochloric acid, the ring gets destroyed. So it cannot be taken orally. Now the second one, it has got a short duration of action. It lasts only for 20 to 30 minutes. The reason why it has got low duration of action is it is rapidly excreted by renal tubular secretion. Now, third one, it is effective against only gram positive bacteria. It has got a narrow spectrum. Now, even in gram-positive bacteria, certain bacteria has developed resistance to penicillin G. The reason for this resistance is the bacteria started producing an enzyme called beta-lactamase or penicillinase. This enzyme was destroying penicillin ring, so it becomes ineffective. Second, second uh, resistance method is, there, is a, there occurs a change in penicillin binding proteins. These are the proteins to which penicillin goes and binds. If the protein conformation is changed, penicillins cannot bind with that. So this is another resistance pathway. So penicillin has got, penicillin G has got all the shortcomings. To overcome the shortcomings, newer penicillins were made. Let us see one by one. First one, to overcome a uh, parenteral problem. Like there are certain penicillins which are developed which can be taken orally, orally active penicillins. Examples are uh, penicillin V, which is known as phenoxymethyl penicillin, oxacillin, dicloxacillin, cloxacillin, ampicillin and amoxicillin. You can remember them by using a mnemonic called vodka, V-O-D-C-A. Vodka is taken through the mouth, so these drugs can be taken through the mouth. V stands for penicillin Z, O stands for oxacillin, D stands for dicloxacillin, C stands for cloxacillin, ampicillin and amoxicillin. First problem. Now the next shortcoming is, it has got a shorter duration of action. To overcome this, penicillin G is combined with either procaine or benzathane. So procaine, penicillin Z, benzathane, penicillin Z has got longer duration of action. The reason is these drugs form, they have a low solubility. So when they are given intramuscularly, slowly penicillin G gets released and it acts for longer duration of action. Now the third one is, certain bacteria has developed resistance by producing beta-lactamase. So there is a new class of penicillins which are beta-lactamase resistant penicillins. Examples are cloxacillin, oxacillin, nafcillin, dicloxacillin, methicillin. You can remember this by a mnemonic called condom, C-O-N-D-M. C stands for cloxacillin, O stands for oxacillin, N stands for nafcillin, D, dicloxacillin, M, methicillin. Understand this one. Oxacillin, cloxacillin, dicloxacillin. They can be taken orally and they are penicillinase or beta-lactamase resistant. Now the last one. The, uh, the other problem with penicillin G is it is narrow spectrum of activity. So there are certain penicillins which are which has got wide spectrum of activity. Examples are ampicillin, amoxicillin, ticarcillin, carindacillin, magillocillin, agilocillin, piperacillin. All of them has got extended spectrum of activity. Now one more thing. Sometimes penicillin can be also given along with probenicid. Probenicid inhibits tubular secretion. So penicillin duration can be increased. So all this comes under newer penicillin classification. Thank you.